hello so in this demo i'm going to showcase like how we can import the raw data in seismicon notebook uh, we can go through the data wrangler techniques uh, all the eda and data transformations once this is done uh, we can go again like in the seismic itself uh, we can train the model and deploy on ec2 instance or any kind of instance we want to select that uh, deployed uh, uh, endpoint then client can access it uh, from outer side so i will showcase like uh, this entire flow uh, so first let go to the <coughs> notebook uh, seismicon notebook so i already have one instance running i'm just opening in a jupyter lab so before that like uh, if you go to here so in the training training jobs so there is uh, one job is uh, uh, it, it is saying that like 11 minutes ago one job is completed algorithms uh, so if we have list out any algorithms then uh, inference so in inference we can see if there is already created some endpoints or not models if we already created any models so all these kind of uh, details we can get it here uh, once we will run this uh, we will have endpoints and we can able to see that endpoints over there Okay, so this is a home page of uh, Jupyter Lab. I'm just going inside this folder. I have lab.ipynb file. And uh, so the basic introductions about this demo is that uh, we have some flight data, flight operating data, and uh, we are going to visualize this data. We are going to training uh, the model, and before that, uh, doing all kind of analysis on top of the data to make it like uh, trainable in machine learning model and uh, we are using uh, AWS uh, a AWS mod a model to train this uh, that is a linear model and we uh, I, I will explain at the time like uh, how we can uh, attach the container of that linear model uh, from external source to like directly to this stage maker not so yeah first step is done let me just comment out and uh, why so understanding the of uh, machine learning objective so us flight data delay data is that and our target variable is that um, we have to forecast like uh, how much time or how many minutes that particular flight will be delayed so forecast the number of minutes a given flight will be delayed so that is our target uh, so before that we are preparing the data we have data inside this location so we are getting those data first and once the data is available then we will start uh, learning the data we will start uh, to all kind of operations all the data uh, these are the field inside the data like year quarter month uh, then origin destinations all kind of uh, data uh, we have for this particular flight information then let me show you how the data looks like here dot uh, add Okay, so year, quarter, month, then uh, a unique carrier number, then flight number, origin, destinations, so all, all this data we have also delays about the target variable that is also here, uh, like departure delay, arrival delay. Okay, now uh, we are just uh, doing some kind of histogram to check uh, the arrival delay. So this is like a data exploration step, uh, nothing else. So we can see that arrival delay in minutes, arrival delay in minutes. Okay, so we are checking like uh, frequency of the arrival delay. And uh, next step is like uh, we are deleting some unused columns like your tail numbers or somehow it is not very useful. So we are deleting it from the data frame. Uh, now. Uh, here they mentioned that linear learner that is the algorithm that we are going to use and that algorithm requires uh, all the fields should be numerical ones so we are uh, doing get dummies so what it will do that it will convert your categorical variables to a numerical variable so if you see here uh, previously we have uh, uh, 21 columns only and uh, now after doing this uh, uh, and coding uh, we will have uh, 
more than 400 columns so right now it is 402 columns okay now we are checking like uh, what is the bucket name we have one bucket and uh, we'll do train test fleet and upload this data into again back to the cloud in the s3 so at the time of training we will directly fetch data from s3 and do a training we have no need to copy the data locally inside this instance okay so uh, basically what we are doing that df.columns remove this uh, arrival delay so this is our target column so that is my x variable and uh, only this arrival delay that is my y variable so basically it is trend test split we are taking a 60 percent is for training and remaining is for testing and uh, this train and test dot csv we are uploading uh, back uh, to the s3 location okay so next step is like uh, training the model so in the training the model now we are training uh, so our data is available in the s3 and we are going to use linear learner algorithm so uh, in the sage maker uh, this algorithms first we have to fetch that particular image uh, and that image uh, we are fetching like image uri stored red drive we are passing the linear learner so that is a linear regression algorithm and uh, we are defining one more two three sessions and we have to pass the region name basically okay so this is like a container so we are fetching this container image the next is that uh, um, we are going to create estimator functions from the sage method uh, where we have to pass this container uh, role uh, so we have sage maker execution role so it will give us role and we are creating sage maker session uh, this is a uh, large. so this is the instance on which uh, we are going to train okay so this is instance type output path uh, all this we are defining in the estimator the next step is that uh, hyperparameters tuning so uh, this is a regression problem so we have many kind of uh, hyperparameters in the regression so we can define all this uh, using the like uh, model dot set hyperparameters and next is like uh, <laughs> we have to define train channel and uh, test channel so uh, the purpose for train and test is that like train channel we will pass for the feed and test channel we will pass for the evolution so if you see here that my model dot feed i am passing the train channel and test channel the so test has a 40 percent data and train is 60 percent data and i am defining one job name flight delay and uh, like uh, this is some kind of time we are passing here okay let me I delay demo and today's date is 23.06 okay so this is my new job so it is saying that jobs is started and uh, it will take near to 12 to 15 minutes to complete the job uh, it will going through all the epochs and uh, not many stops it will give all kind of uh, in between matrices uh, matrices whenever it is the training is going on and uh, this job we can able to see now inside this uh, sage maker if we go here then training jobs uh, yep so here we have flight delay demo 2306 and this is the time so this job is right now it is saying that in in progress so job is going on right now and once the job is done uh, we can able to see that the job is done and uh, the next task is like deploying the train model okay so uh, that job is going on and uh, we have all the epoch level details uh, we can see that uh, bed size epoch number is 15 feature dimensions auto uh, is by this true all this uh, hyperparameters informations we have and uh, we will have like standard 
deviation weight uh, all kind of hyper parameters we are getting lots of uh, uh, loggings here and once this all is done all the epochs are done and model is uh, perfectly trained uh, the next step we will we will deploy that model okay so here we can see the number of examples lot many uh, information is providing by this model uh, training uh, so total wall time is 10 minutes it took 10 minutes to complete the model training the next is uh, linear model to deploy so we can deploy this model and uh, for that deployment it will took 11 minutes so i already deployed it in pass so that is the results and csv uh, serializer and json serializer to serialize the model object uh, here we are checking the actual data and test vector so actually we want to check uh, how our model is performing so we took one record from test record and uh, we are saying that model dot predict my test record and it will give us some output and we can see that uh, the predicted is minus 12 and actually is minus 20 so error is minus 7 but 7 minutes so our model is uh, not that much of perfect it is giving like uh, the 7 but 7 minute error uh, in this case the prediction is uh, paid within the 8 minutes of the actual uh, delay yeah so we can say that it is within 8 minute actual delay and uh, still we can like enhance the model by setting the more hyperparameters tuning uh, yeah that's all thank you thank you for watching this uh, uh, demo